Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, hello, and uh, happy almost uh, end of November. It is such a gorgeous day here in Southern California. Hello, Gabby. Gabby. Hi, Gabby. How are you? It's so good to have you here, present, live. Um, hope everything is incredible. I do follow you every time I can. Well, today is November 19th. And I remember I was talking to a friend of mine, um, and we just thought about this, that it was sometime in March or April. And as we were talking, next thing she said was, wait, it's going to be 4th of July. And it was 4th of July then when we got together and we were celebrating, I said, next thing you know, it's going to be Christmas. And here we are only a few weeks away before celebrating Christmas. And what is Christmas? What is this celebration? What is it that we want to renew within ourselves? Or I like to call it, what do you want to gift yourself? So in life, it's not only gifting others, but what is it that you want to gift yourself? The same way as I ask, how do you feel loved is what would you want to gift yourself? So that's something I'd like you to think about and just ponder about. What is it that I want to make a change within myself? What do I want to gift myself, either uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, personally, professionally, right? And today's talk is going to be something that is going to be let me call it polarization. When we want to polarize something, what does polarization mean? That means it could be something like a dichotomy. There's the good, there is the bad, there is the right, there's the light or the shadow. And polarization in a way, no matter what we do in life, there is the upside and the downside of everything. So even when we have a negative habit, which some people may think uh, it's a negative habit, it could be something that is very positive for the person. So let me give you an example. Um, many people call addiction uh, a negative. Uh, they say if you're addicted to alcohol, drugs, or uh, anything that is negative, it's a bad. But who's to say it's negative, right? Because when we do something over and over until it becomes a habit, and then when that habit becomes something that gives you a sense of comfort, a sense of good feeling, that when we do it over and over, it becomes like it's an addiction. And yet, you can stop because we were not born with that. So today's message is going to be something that has become very much mainstream, like smoking. Smoking for those who smoke is a sense of gratification. It's an oral gratification. It's a buddy system. It is, for some, they call it, uh, relaxation, right? So is smoking good or bad? For the person who smokes it, they, they think it's something that they like, they want to do, and they continue on doing because they get something out of that smoking. Now, for those who are against smoking, they say smoking has all its negatives, and believe it or not, even the smoker knows all the negatives and the health ramifications and whatever is wrong with them. Now, because of all the vaping that is going on, so many are saying 
that vaping is better than smoking. Well, that in itself is a polarization. I want to talk about something that is coming up, which is the Great American Smokeout. The Great American Smokeout is happening on November 21. I myself am putting a workshop together. And in this workshop, it's going to be a two-hour workshop. It's going to happen here at the Heal Within Healing Center. And in this two-hour workshop, everyone who's going to be here is going to understand everything about how the mind works, how we form habits, how the habits become a, a sense, a, a part of our behavior, and how you can, through hypnosis, because the second half, about 45 minutes of that at the end is going to be hypnosis, which some have walked out as a non-smoker after my workshops. I used to teach classes in self-hypnosis and smoking cessations. And there are people, I even have videos on YouTube of a testimonial of a client that came in for a two hour workshop and left as a non-smoker. He no longer desired to smoke. So in a way, what we do through hypnosis and hypnotherapy, which it will not be hypnotherapy in this two hour workshop, but hypnosis, because it's a group setting. In this hypnosis, in this workshop, you will learn everything about how the mind functions and how through hypnosis, we tap into the subconscious mind and can change uh, habits and uh, patterns within your conscious being, your conscious mind, because the subconscious mind, which truly is uh, where it stores all the information, the patterns, behaviors, uh, the connection, your emotional connection to smoking, your emotional mental connection to smoking, everything is right there. So what we do, we disassemble, through hypnosis, we tap, I take all my clients into that state of hypnosis, which is trance state. So you can become more aware and relaxed. Through that state of relaxation, you become aware of the connections to the smoking, the emotional connection to smoking, why you smoke and how it feels through every smoke, every taste, as you put it in in between your fingers what it smells like what it feels like and as you take that deep breath thinking that you are bringing in oxygen and vitality that you are inhaling that smoke which is through that white piece of paper that has been put in there all the tobacco the embalming solutions, all the, let me give you everything that is in there, and which is, um, I have this entire thing right here, and I'm going to show you, and I'm going to talk about all the things which is uh, put into that cigarette, which is hydrogen uh, cyanide, um, formadiline, lead, arsenic, ammonia, benzene, carbon monoxide, and all this stuff that is truly inside, inside your, not your, but inside the cigarettes. And that's when they light it up and the fire, and then they burn it and they smoke it, that the light as they smoke, it burns the paper and then through the filter, it's the filter that filters it as people smoke. And that is inhaled. So it's inhaled through your mouth, your tongue, the palate, into the throat system, from the throat system. And with a smile, it goes down into the lungs, right? Now, this entire thing happens and there's people that smoke like crazy, and there's people who smoke it in at social settings. No matter what it is, the ones who smoke 
in social settings, they do it as a social, pure connection, joy. It goes with either alcohol or coffee. It goes with this or that. So in a way, it creates this socialization and buddy system for smoking. Now, the ones who smoke more than 10 cigarettes a day or a pack a day, I know of a client who used to smoke two and a half packs a day two and a half packs a day. So in a way, he used to put about $20 a day, burned it away into his body. That's what I call it. You burn $20 into your body, burning everything so that you can have a pleasure. Now, here is the polarization of that. That used to give or gives the person who is smoking a sense of joy, a connection, and the body system, which in fact helps them along during their day, right? I'm not here to say it is right or wrong, but I am here to talk about vaping. Vaping that has become the number one, I like to call it, um, destructive thing in our youth, in our children, vaping and marijuana. But let's talk about vaping only. I'm not going into the drugs. We're going to stick to the smoking and the inhaling. Now, vaping in itself is worse. First, this beautiful jewel case that now have created 150 different flavors. You don't like the uh, cigarettes? Cigarettes come in regular cigarettes and or menthols. Or even there is another one. So there is about two or three kinds. And we're not talking about the grades of light or ultra light or the strong ones or the Winston or Gitanos or anything like that even the ones that they're saying, but this is specially made, but it's in a packet. It doesn't matter. Smoking is still smoking. Now, vaping is this beautiful thing that the tobacco industry has created to say, I want you to stop smoking, but now you can vape. If you don't want to vape, I'll give you the patch. No matter what you do, I'm going to own you because I want you to look cool now. If cigarettes are a taboo, how about you put this and you can put it in your purse, you can put it in your pocket, you can take it out, you can go like that and it's smokeless. No one sees it, no one else gets harmed except you. Now, here's another statistics I want to show and, yes, show and tell, right? So here's the statistics about, uh, the industry that is, they spent more than $8.6 billion. Did you hear me? $8.6 billion aggressive marketing on vaping since 2017. And who do they market? Not you, not the adults, even though the adults are vaping nowadays, but they are marking, marketing it to our youth from middle school all the way to high school. So that alone means they are spending $23 million each day. Did you hear me? $23 million of marketing is being spent on what your children log into. Every time they gain they see vaping, everything that they do. That means $1 million an hour. There's people who make $1 million a year, but this is $1 million an hour. That nearly 80% of middle and high school students, that's four out of five kids, are exposed to e-cigarettes and vaping and peer pressure. Come on. You're not vaping. There's no harm done to anyone else. Vaping has different grades. 
there is the grades of from the low grade all the way to the strength you can choose pick and choose and no matter depending on how much they can spend the grade goes higher and more potent we hear about children being in hospitals children dying uh we didn't hear as many smokers dying that we have in this just in the last six months children dying lungs everything so what happens when that beautiful scented or tasting uh tobacco you know the cigarettes used to take this long and then there was the filter well vaping is only this much and the oil burns as the oil burns it's literally like a burning oil and then going do you know what that does to the palate to the tongue our thought our tongue our palate our teeth throat so why am i saying this because just four days ago i had a 14 year old girl that was brought here that she has a hole 14 years old has a hole here and a dent here and everything because vaping has started burning from the inside and she had problems in her stomach and they said she constant problems and problems until they did the x-ray and there was a hole a little hole in the pancreas and we're not even talking about everything else now what that has done that's about a year and a half of vaping not realizing what's happening because she really thought she is cool and she's not harming anyone the parents didn't know she was smoking because every time she had the money she was taking the vaping and the jewel case that was gifted by another friend so all that this is happening it's happening with our children and the ramification is that not only it's this destruct destroyed her physical part of the body but her body image her self-confidence now she's angry she's moody she is depressed she does not want to socialize anymore because she feels ugly on top of everything she was grounded now she's got this double whammy how is she going to heal the body will heal it will take a long time for her to recover but it's understanding this destructiveness inside and she was not vaping to be cool she was vaping literally because she realized she had heard that it kills people she thought she's killing herself she wanted to this herself from where she is who she is you know we hear teenagers becoming destructive self-destructive self-hurting but this was in her own way thinking that this is the way i'm going to do it everyone will think it's cool but i want to destroy myself that is not the way to be and if i can help one child one person become a non-smoker become a non-vapor i will the great american smokeout has been placed by the american lung association giving educational pamphlets giving educational classes we're doing the workshop over here and anyone who is under the age of 18 this workshop that costs 79 dollars for two hours anyone who brings their teenagers 
is going to be free for your teenagers. Why? Because I want to help everyone to become more confident, self-esteem, raise that self-esteem to know that by destroying yourself, you still cannot get away from what it is that you want to get away from. We cannot stop parents argue. We cannot stop you from growing and becoming and blossoming and hiding from what you don't want to have the point of attention. See, no matter what we do, we have to teach our children and let them know that they are blossoming, they are growing, they are becoming. And the best thing to do is for them to have this sense of self-accomplishment, sense of self-worth, sense of self-knowing and valuing who they are. And then if they want to smoke or do something socially or eating or anything that they want to, it's knowing not only the ramifications, but why they do it. So it does not become, this is why I'm talking about polarization, is it does not become a way of destroying yourself, cutting yourself, burning yourself. And thinking that by hurting yourself, you are going to hurt the person that has caused the hurt. That is not the way to do it. And unfortunately, what she didn't realize was that's exactly why she picked up the smoking, the vaping, the marijuana. That if I hurt myself, Maybe they will feel the hurt. Maybe they will pay attention to me. Maybe then they will realize I am hurting. And that is the beginning of so many who, who pick up this addictive personality. And it becomes an addiction, becomes self-destructive and what i like to do and i am asking you to become more aware become more open to see and communicate with your children to communicate with the adolescents to communicate and have an open dialogue if you can't and if you cannot find someone who will I am here to help you, your children, from eight years old all the way to, I have clients at 91 coming in here for their own habitual things. So um, appreciate you. Thank you. Hi, Sandy. Hello, Helen. Thank you for all of you being here. Does this resonate with you? If it resonates, just... Uh, show me with a hashtag or just put number one. If you have someone in your life who has a habit of smoking or something like that, ask them, ask them, what does this give you? It's not that you want to say, how dare you smoke? Who are you to smoke? How can you do this? It's not for us to belittle them. It's not to say uh, that you are not allowed to do that because every single human being has the right to do to their body what they want. I'm not saying you must become a, a, a non-smoker. It is not good for you. It is creating cancer. How, how dare you do this? But it's to know. And be more loving. And if I can lovingly love you and for you to love your body, for you to appreciate yourself, 
especially your children, to become more appreciative of who they are and to know that they can communicate and express versus suppressing it, shutting it down, shutting up, that they have the means that if they were to express what they feel, what they think, there's someone who can hear them, listen to them, and appreciate them, to be their voice. That's what most people want, just to be heard. They want to know that when they speak, someone is paying attention. So in a way, instead of destroying this incredible body that houses and protects and shields them, to know that they have a space and their being here in this world matters. So in a way, what I like to say is this great American smokeout is the day that most people are to come and have this awareness. I have a book, it's called Stomp on Smoking, so that we can stomp on this addictive or negative way of being. So today, November 19th, only two days away from the national smoke out and everything. I want to spread this love and say, no matter what you do, no matter what you put inside your body, it can be cigarettes, it can be vaping, it can be marijuana, it can be eating, it can be whatever it is, this oral gratification that somewhere, somehow, you have learned to shut it down or you think it is relaxing you and giving you a sense of buddy system. I want you to find you. I want you to sit and literally write there Write down all the good reasons, all the reasons that you feel satisfied by doing this. It gives you a sense of satisfaction. It gives you a sense of worth. And realize that this or this or this is not giving you a sense of worth. You are. You think you are in full control because you're holding this. And that's the only thing you are controlling. It's like being OCD and cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. This sense of cleaning and scrubbing, this cleansiness or cleaning, um, shutting the windows, opening the windows, the keys, or cleaning and making sure everything is wiped clean, that cleansiness is not giving you a sense of control. You are. That has absolutely no feeling. Cigarettes have absolutely no feeling. Vaping has no feeling. They are not giving you anything, not even the food, nothing is giving you back. You are giving you back. And if you can, because I know you can, and when you choose and when you decide to realize instead of this, I can put a celery in my mouth, grapes in my mouth, 
almonds in my mouth? Or better yet, if I can just take every time and just swallow my own saliva and say, I give myself a moment of me time. I give myself oxygen and vitality every time that I inhale my own saliva. I give myself full permission to be in control of my mind and body. I give myself the choice of being healthy instead of destroying. I give myself love. I have the right to love myself, even when I feel unloved. I value me. I adore me. I admire me. And if you can literally stand in front of the mirror and instead of smoke and see the smoke smoke away stand in front of the mirror and literally look yourself in the mirror and say i see me and if you have a child why don't you sit kneel down if you must, sit with them face to face and say, I see you. And if you are hurting, I'm here to listen. No judgment, no criticism. I see you. So, few weeks ago I was at an event and speaking to a woman who was the organizer uh, someone took a picture of me that as I came to speak to her I literally kneeled down because she was sitting and I kneeled down almost kneeling and spoke to her so as we are driving away, she turns around and said, Lisa, why do you kneel? Why did you kneel down to speak to her? Didn't you bring yourself down? You know, I thought about it for about a minute. And then I had the answer. So it's a different perception. This is the polarization. From far, it was as if I belittled myself and I kneeled down, right? But here's the power within this. I kneel down so I am eye level with her, that I am not above her. I was not below her. But I was speaking to her just as I am speaking to you. I am looking in this camera right here, right now. So as I see myself, I see me straight looking with you in this camera. So in a way, I think I am speaking with you and to you. I am not lower. I am not higher. The camera is not here and is not here. So I hope this makes sense because when we speak to the people we want to be in connection with and we care for, we hold their hand and we say, I see you. I am here for you. And could you do that for your loved ones? There is no one in this world more important than your children, than your loved ones, the ones that you care for and who care for you. So in closing, I want to say, 
if you are anywhere in the LA area. I'm having a workshop called Stomp on Smoking. It's a two hour workshop. If you have a teenager, by all means, at no cost, please invite them to come to the workshop. It is between 6 to 8 p.m. November 21 at the Heal Within Healing Center. And if we get more than 12 people, then we'll have a bigger space. But right now, the space is limited. And I look forward to helping anyone who's interested become a non-smoker again, because we are not born smokers. The opportunity to walk out here with a plethora of information, and they can do whatever they want to after they walk out of here, right? Everyone has the right and the choice to do what they want. But in the meantime, let's bring health and vitality as the alternative and the best way to have joy and happiness with it. And be grateful, being grateful to every aspect of who you are, your light, your shadow, your up, your down, no matter who you are, where you are, it doesn't matter what race, what color, what religion, because cigarettes have absolutely no care about you. It is you picking that up. So I will have the information about our workshop placed. I will have a um, uh, the link to register, which is called, uh, it's on my website. You can go to healwithin.com. And when you open it, it's the first thing you will see on our website. It will be on the top in the events. Just click there and register. I am here to help everyone evoke what was which is the history. Embrace what is, which is your reality today. And that you can evolve to what is it that you want to be and desire to be because you matter. So I'm going to take this moment and see if there's any questions. Hello. Hi, Mark. How are you? Hello, Christine. How are you doing? Thank you for that beautiful get together. It was truly magical. You know, being grateful and having this sense of gratefulness, it's about being with the people that you want to be. You don't have to have a million dollar home to bring the people that you care for and surround yourself with them and invite them in your home. We break bread and we feel connected and appreciated. And the ones who come to your home that are going to judge you or analyze the things that you have or anything, the next time you will remember that they are not the ones that you want to surround yourself with and by. But the ones who come and they are genuinely there for you. And when there is an invitation, they are coming for you, not who's there, right? So with that, I want you to have the sense of pride of who you are and surround this incredible body of yours, this powerful mind of yours, and open your heart to transform to the best version of you. So, in closing, I am excited because in December, I'm going to have two incredible ladies as my guest. I will be posting their information. Please be watchful and it's going to be amazing. 
uh, it's going to be real talk, truly real talk and inspirational stories because I think every one of us is a story. It's a storybook. We are all a storybook. What we do, what we say, what we feel, and we are a book. And I like to call it, this is your life. So until next week, I thank you for being here. And next week will be two days before Thanksgiving. And we'll, have, we'll break bread together and we will give thanks. And I want you to share with me all the things that you are grateful to. Until next week, God bless you. And may the universal light surround you. Bye, Mark. Bye, all. Bye, Becky. Bye, Christine. Thank you for being present. God bless. Mm -hmm.